first down. Cut back, spinning, Jackson, touchdown, Northwestern. Justin Jackson tearing it up in the NFL, and you're so proud of him. And, you know, for really four years, that was a consistent position for us from a health standpoint. Kind of a unicorn, quite frankly. We went from being a unicorn and being really healthy at the running back position to being really unhealthy in, in the course of, you know, about three months. Larkin gets the handoff. He's going to walk in. Touchdown. We had Jeremy coming into the season and then John as well. And so we were kind of thinking those two were going to be kind of a two-headed monster. Jeremy Larkin went down with a um, spinal issue. And then John hurt his ankle. But Isaiah has stepped up. Out the middle, into the end zone. Isaiah Bowser, the true freshman, the first touchdown of his career. After the Rutgers game, I was getting reps at the ones. I knew, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna play and that was gonna be it for my red set. You know, he's a thick, strong young man. And now has been really, I think, physical in his first handful of starts. You know, being able to go 25 plus carries has been really impressive to watch as a young player. Here's Bowser running left, and Bowser finds room 30, 25, he's gone, 10, 5, touchdown! When he runs over guys, I get really hyped on the sideline, so it's great to see him, but um, I think the fourth and two was one of his best plays to be able to seal the game for us. He'll hand it to Bowser, and Bowser up the middle, fighting down to the 30. He's got a first down, and, and that will do it. And the Northwestern Wildcats are going to Indianapolis. I don't think it's 100% normal to have that much faith in a true freshman. Um, the last time I you know, remember that much faith in a true freshman was when Justin was a true freshman. I'm from Sydney, Ohio, small town. It's about an hour and a half west of Columbus. Sydney's known for the for the blue collar workers. To make a living, they gotta they gotta use their hands. Um, they gotta get up in the morning. They gotta go grab the lunch pail. And they gotta go do their job. I think that's gotten into Isaiah's blood over the years because people don't understand how hard he really works to get where he is. About 2010, 2009, um, you know, as a school district, we were uh, pretty hard financially. That's about the same time that you know, the country was kind of going through a recession. When that kind of stuff starts to happen, it's, it's hard to uh, keep people around. You know, I, I don't blame a lot of parents for trying to find a better school district that might have been financially uh, better at that time. I point blank asked him, do you want to go to another school? He says, no, I want to stay here. We're going to be pretty good. In our school's history, we only had one playoff team in 1989 up until 2017. Bringing my school to the, to the state playoffs um, for the first time in about 30 years was incredible, you know. People love to watch him play football. This is Buckeye country. And people in town, they talk about him today now. Hey, uh, we're going to watch Northwestern this weekend. You know, we're going to do this. We're buying a purple jersey, this and that. I guarantee you nobody knew who Northwestern was until he went there this year. when they secured the right to go to the Big Ten Championship game. I got inundated with emails and phone calls and text messages asking, where's everybody going and where are we meeting at? The AAA group in town uh, already had a bus that was sold out before they even knew the Buckeyes was gonna be in the game. The main goal eight, nine years ago when we were having those problems in the school district was we gotta stop people from leaving. To see a kid like that, that, you know, I'm sure it might've crossed that family's mind to move somewhere else, but at some point they said, you know what, we're gonna stay here. And that meant a lot to our program, it meant a lot to our school district because I can succeed here. And he's a poster kid for the community.